I'm Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com with a Mason and Hamlin Grand Piano. Ah, one of the great American pianos. More than that, for those of you who studied up on Mason and Hamlin, and I speak to a lot of you out there who call me about Mason and Hamlin pianos who know that it's the pre-Aeolian days of Mason and Hamlin before they were sold to the Aeolian Piano Company in the mid-1930s that many people seek out these instruments for their rich tone and manufacturing quality at that time. And this is a great example of one of those pre-Aeolian Mason and Hamlins and with the benefit of having been just rebuilt and refinished, looks and plays like new, what a gorgeous piano. And listen to the tone and maybe you'll understand, get a glimpse as to what that era of pianos was like and why people seek them out. That the beginning of the Bach Fifth French Suite in G major. You hear the clarity and yet the roundness of the tone, which is a trademark of Mason and Hamlin. Listen to something a little bit more aggressive from the early 20th century. Debussy's Pour le Piano, the first movement, will give you a little bit of uh, an idea of the range of tone of this wonderful piano. Now that, my friends, is a piano. If you have any more questions about this Mason and Hamlin or any questions about pianos, I welcome them here at livingpianos.com. Again, I'm Robert Estrin. Thank you so much for joining me. It means a tremendous amount to me to have your interest. I'll see you next time.